Why is everything so small? Oh, it's supposed to be small. It, it's a flea circus. Fleas? Yeah, yeah. Tiny little fleas are performing their own circus. <laughs> huh. Huh. I don't understand why nothing's moving, though. It's supposed to be moving. I don't see any fleas. Oh, no. Sure, sure. They're... Fleas are missing? Huh. The fleas are missing! Yeah, I wonder where they could be. <laughs> ah. Hey everybody, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and we are so glad to have you all with us today. John, ask me why. Why? Because today is a big day for me and John. It is? We both had this dream for a long time to be Cirque performers. We oh, have. Yeah. And today is finally the day we step into our destiny. Our what? Our destiny. I've reserved a spot at the globally renowned Cirque training facility. Cirque, you say? Cirque today. Well, I say, so today, We'll be doing Cirque. You keep saying we. Our dream of spinning through the air on a suspended hula hoop and flying through the sky between the trapeze bars is about to be realized. It's not really my dream. Let's go. Okay. Wow, this is awesome. It's everything I could have wished for. You guys must be John and Brandon. Uh, yeah, you must be Frankie. You can call me Coach. Oh, oh well, thanks for having us here, Coach. So, where do you want to start? Uh oh. We've got Sear Wheel, Aerial Silks, uh -huh. Lyra. Uh, of course, the trapeze over there. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I want to try everything. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to be great at most of it, but I, I want to find the place where I really fit in, you know? Oh. I do. Yeah. Uh, this is Sammy. She's going to be demonstrating for us today. Oh, hi. hi so, uh, where to? Uh, what are you thinking, John? Uh, uh, I'm thinking maybe the silk. Okay. Right this way. Oh. oh. Brandon, you are so right. That was amazing. For you, I couldn't do any of it. There's no place that I fit in. Uh, uh, now, you weren't that bad. Says the natural. <laughs> you really think so? <laughs> so you guys have a good time? Oh, oh yes. Thank you so much for the lesson, Coach. <laughs> well, you guys did great for your first day. Are you serious? I, there was not one thing that I did right. I... I will never be a professional Cirque performer! Well, training for this takes years. You can't expect This was my one shot Cirque today! We do have other things. No, to thank do. you! You know what? I'm done. I'm done! No. Oh! Brandon? Gabby! Walk right! Okay. Cirque today! Cirque, no way! Uh, it's, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hey Kellen. Hey Kellen. Aw, are you upset about the Cirque Gym? I don't belong anywhere, Kellen. That's not true. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, but you know what? I think our Bible story today will help you out. Yeah. Well, what do you have in mind? 
Well, in my mind, I was thinking about using our heads because it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Today's story comes from the book of Genesis. God chose a man named Abraham and promised to bless the entire world through his family. When Abraham died, though, his son Isaac trusted God just like his father did before. Isaac lived where God told him to live, and the Lord blessed him. Oh, I'm so glad the Lord has blessed me and my family. Hope our crops do well. Hmm. <gasps> wow! That's 100 times more than what I planted! Isaac became very rich. Whoa! And he had a bunch of animals. <laughs> Look at all these wonderful blessings! In fact, Isaac had so much that the Philistines who lived around Isaac became jealous of him. Hey! Hey! Oh! oh. <laughs> Why, if it isn't Abimelech, king of the Philistines, <laughs> what brings you here? You have become too powerful. You must move away from us. Oh. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, come on, cows. Let's. I can't. <sighs> all right, animals, come with me. Let's go. Isaac moved his family and all his animals to a new place, the Valley of Gerar. His father, Abraham, had dug wells there for drinking water. But the Philistines had stopped them up, so Isaac had to dig them out again. Well, I guess it's time to open up this well. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. yes. You need some help? Oh, yes. Thank you. All right. Oh, you got a shovel too? Yeah. <laughs> wow. These are very tiny shovels. Yeah, well, let's do it faster. Okay. Thank you. Isaac and his servants dug the wells until they found fresh water to drink. <laughs> Wow, that's super fresh! Now I can finally relax and make a new home. <laughs> Not so fast! These wells are on Philistine land. That water is ours. No, uh it's ours! We dug it! Let's fight! No, 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 wait, wait, wait! We can always build a new well. <laughs> it's no use arguing. Hmm? Okay. So Isaac's servants dug another well. But unfortunately, the Philistines were there to argue over that one too. It's ours! 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 Uh, let's find another spot. Isaac moved and dug another well. And this time, no one argued over it. <laughs> yeah! Now the Lord has given us room. Now we'll be successful in the land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna catch on. <sighs> Lord, thank you. You are faithful and worthy to be praised. <clears throat> oh! Oh! Abimelech, what are you doing here? You, you, you sent me away, remember? It's pretty clear that the Lord is with you. Ah. So I'd like to make a peace treaty with you. Uh, I don't harm you, you don't harm me, you know, all that good stuff. All right. Well, how about you come over and we will feast together tomorrow. And my treat. Oh. And then the next day, we will get together and sign a treat E. <laughs> well, let's shake on it. Okay. Even though Isaac had been kicked out of his land where he'd been living, and his wells had been stopped up or fought over, he kept trusting God, and the Lord blessed him. The end. Thanks, Kellen. And thank you, guys. Yeah, things weren't going Isaac's way, but... He didn't let that bother him. Yeah, he, he really trusted God to provide for him and to help him find where he belonged. He sure did. Sometimes when things aren't going the way we want or expect, we forget that God is still in control. And we forget that God still loves us very much. We can put our trust in God and Jesus no matter what we're going through. You know, that's, that's very helpful for me to remember. I'm still upset that I didn't do well at the Cirque stuff, but... I know I can trust God to help me find where I belong. That's terrific. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. I'll see you next time. 
I have learned a lot today. Yeah, me too. And I, I think I know how to help you all learn with me. Hmm. Reveal the question. How do you react when things don't go your way? Today, I did not react very well. I gave up hope and was pretty hard on myself. Yeah. Well, what about you? Maybe you get angry or scared, mm -hmm. or maybe you ask someone to help you. Yeah, there will be lots of times in your life when things don't go your way. But whatever happens, we can still trust that God will one day make things right. Mm -hmm. Talk about it together. How do you react when things don't go your way? And until next time, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And this was The So-and-So Show. Yes, it was. All right, man. So you think you want to give it another try? I do. I right. I'm going to try one I haven't tried yet. It's called the aerial rope. All right. Oh, all right. Go for it. All right. The aerial rope. <laughs> Just, you know, we'll see what he does. Yes! That was, that was really good, Brandon. Um, I'll go try. <laughs> <laughs>